going to open up and take a look at a new board game by Plat Hat Games. It's a Mice and Mystics. <clears throat> this is kind of a storytelling board game. You play through scenarios that slowly go through a story. Got to get a look at the, some of the contents there. Can be played solo or up to four players. Looks like it's got a little thing for a video with a tutorial on how to play. It's a full color book. And it looks to be about 22 pages. Last couple of pages being credits and then you have some explanations of some different icons in the game. You get the Sorrow and Remembrance book. This is the scenarios you can kind of play through. You can kind of see it has different events that can occur, which tiles to use, what monsters go in what thing. It looks like you get about it's about 57, 58 pages there. You have the turn tracker board, which looks like it comes in two pieces kind of fits together like a puzzle. has an initiative tracker on one side, kind of a little monitor for the uh, uh, special event for the bad guys, and then you have different pages that can take place in the story, and the storybook tells you what happens with each page and at what page the story ends and the game's over. We have the game tiles here. It looks like we have eight game tiles. They're double sided. We have kind of a cobblestone path here. It looks like you have a little underground cave. We have a Looks to be a kitchen floor with a table up top. And on the other side we have another little underground cavern. Kind of more of a tunnel. Have what looks like possibly a little kind of dungeon area. You can see there's some different weapons scattered about on the ground. And it looks to be a sewer trench with some cobblestone paths on either side. Have what looks like another floor with maybe a dining table. And then we have another underground chamber. This looks to be maybe a wizard's laboratory. It's kind of the rooms drawn on the floor and a couple of tables. Some other stuff hanging around. It's like another little underground cavern with some crystals. Bed chamber. You can see the bed, a little nightstand maybe, or a food tray in the fireplace, a chest on the end, and another underground area with looks like a river going through it. Have a, another room here with lots of cobwebs and a desk. Looks to be maybe a some sort of central furnace room. I don't know if that's for a blacksmith. I see pipes going out like maybe it's heating the rest of the castle. And that's on the other side. And then we have what looks like a sewer flush out with the cobblestones there. Kind of a raised area on either side. And on the other side of it we have what looks like a complex maze of pipes. Those are all the game tiles that come with this. And then we have 
some tokens. And these look like maybe they're different items you can get during the game, like a little hourglass piece. We have some tokens here for rat warriors. It looks like we have some condition tokens for like poison or I'm not sure what the other things are. And then the same thing, double sided. We have some heart tokens for damage and some cheese tokens which let you use special abilities or for the bad guys it determines when they get kind of a surge for extra people. Some more heart tokens here, some status effect tokens for your uh, character. You have web, stun, and charm. Have another little rat token here, a couple of mice traps fish hook and string which is an item you use during the game and then you have this which goes on the page tracker to tell you when the story is over how many pages it takes for it to end. Have some miniatures, I'll look at those last. Have some dice. These are custom dice. I believe you have like a sword on the side, a sword and shield, cheese token, an arrow token, another arrow token, and another sword and shield. And that determines when you hit with uh, ranged or when you hit with melee or in the case of the shield block with melee or if you get a cheese token during an attack to help your character out and then they have a little asterisk on them on some of them too which are special during the game to give you when you do a certain action I believe those determine whether the action successful. You get a big bag here. I'll be using Plano probably to store this. You get the character cards. So you have Filch, he's a scamp. Maganos, who was a mystic. Lily, who was an archer. Nez, who was a warrior tinker. Colin, who is a leader and a warrior. And Tilda, who is a healer. So that's six rat people you can play. cards here too. And that's going to be everything that's in there. And we'll take a look at some of the cards. These are initiative tracker cards and they go on that little puzzle piece I showed. And these have all the different monsters and the characters. And whenever you have these in a room together, then you place them on the initiative tracker in the order that they go. You get enough for the monsters that come in here and the characters. These look like maybe they're special ability cards. And you have like this is Thunder Squeak. And uh, it says what class can use the card. So yeah, these look like different abilities that the uh, mice can acquire during the game or maybe they can start out with some and then acquire more later. We have some counter cards here and I believe these are used to determine what monsters show up in a room and then if the monsters get enough cheese during a particular time. It shows what monster comes out then. And I don't know if they these are set randomly during the encounter or if uh, the storybook page tells you which one of those you use for the game. Then we have some item cards here. Yeah, these look like different items that you can acquire during the game. Stuff like armor and potions. Let's see. Looks like there's some different tricks. Some looks like there's a few bad things that can happen to you in this deck. Like poison cheese. 
looks like this is your starting equipment and other equipment that if you search for during the game you can find it. So that is everything that comes in the Mice and Mystics storytelling board game.